Hi, I'm the Glyph, and I'm here to introduce you to L2K adapters. L2K stands for Lego to Keycap, and is a simple mold system technology that I developed specifically for casting artisan keycaps. This video is designed to give you an action-packed overview of what L2Ks are, what they can do, and why you might want to try using them in your casting process. Before we get started, this video assumes you already understand the basics of making two-part molds using silicone. If you're not super comfortable with this yet, take a look in the description for my favorite tutorial. But what exactly is an L2K? It's this. A little piece of plastic that costs about $8. It may not look like much, but by the end of this video, I think you'll start to see exactly how powerful the technology is. It turns out, this L2K is actually a full-blown mold system and can single-handedly change the way many people approach casting. L2Ks work by positioning a master keycap in a repeatable and exact position within a LEGO mold box. This not only saves a whole lot of time fussing with clay, but it also provides a substantially higher quality mold that can easily be used at a professional level. The adapter firmly sticks to a base plate just like any other LEGO brick. It also holds your master keycap in place, which is what allows for extremely precise positioning. By removing all the excessively tedious handwork that's normally required when using clay, it legitimately lets you build a perfect mold box in less time than it takes to talk about it. Each L2K comes with alignment features already built in, so there is no need to add additional components to key your mold box's orientation. Additionally, the L2K platform and exposed LEGO pips provide all the mold registration you'll need. In terms of compatibility, L2Ks can literally accept any master keycap that uses the same stem family. On this MX adapter, I can use blanks, sculpts from a synth, or even this crazy 3D print that I'm working with. So this adapter is great, if you're using MX masters. But what if you want to try something else, like Topre? Well, I've designed a full range of L2Ks that work for MX, Topre, Alps, and even Kale Lopro. All of these are either available right now, or will be in the very near future. To actually use an L2K adapter, all you need is a master keycap, some Legos, and an L2K. Place the master on the L2K, and place both of these in the mold box. Cast this in silicone to get the first half of your mold, then simply remove the L2K and cast the second part of the mold as usual. That's it. I just made a production quality mold, and can make as many identical molds as I'd like using the same setup. Using an L2K to make your molds not only saves you an immense amount of time and hassle, but you'll also end up with higher quality molds. That's pretty great for the casual caster, but what about professional artisans who want to utilize more advanced techniques? L2Ks come in a huge range of different sizes, but still work exactly the same way when you're casting larger keys. Whether you're just looking to cast some mod sets or have some crazy oversized sculpt, all you have to do is check the L2K datasheet to figure out what size adapter you'll need. Many professional casters like to use multiple masters within one mold to increase efficiency and throughput. L2Ks can be tiled within larger mold boxes, giving you complete freedom in how you structure a production workflow. No other mold system even comes close to this functionality. There's a common misconception that this is the best way to sprue your molds when you're using a mold system. While a 12-point fixed sprue system definitely has its uses, it also has just as many downsides. Punch sprues, squish fill, and alternative methods are all equally viable for producing top-tier artisans, and the L2K leaves all these options available depending on your personal preferences. It's impossible to know every keycap, shot technique, or colorway that you'll end up wanting to cast on your system, and fixed sprues can cause issues down the road that you'll end up needing to work around. I've mentioned repeatable alignment a few times now, but it might not make sense yet why that's such a big deal. L2Ks make properly aligned molds every time, which makes both parts completely interchangeable. This allows you to combine different tops and bottoms in any way you'd like. Let me show you why this is awesome. I've got an SA keycap with a Kale Low Pro internal. This wasn't some lucky grab bag find, I actually cast it myself using L2Ks. Let's walk through the exact process that I used to make it happen. First, I used an L2K MX03 with an SA Master and cast the top mold. At the same time, I also used an L2K LP03 and a Kale Low Pro keycap to cast the top mold of that too. 
Next, I cast the second half of the Kale Low Pro mold to capture the internals. With my molds finished, all I had to do was take the internal mold from the Low Pro and the external mold from the SA and use them in combination. Since the L2Ks position both masters in the exact center of their mold boxes and the registration marks are all the same, the two halves fit together perfectly and let me cast a resin keycap just like I would normally. So an SA keycap with low pro internals is pretty cute, but it's really not that useful. What is useful though? Making Topre Artisans. All you have to do is repeat the previous steps using a sculpted master and a Topre blank. Boom. This functionality opens up an absolutely gigantic world of possibilities while requiring almost no additional work or equipment. That's just awesome. Did you figure this one out yet? L2Ks also give you poor once technology. All you have to do is make a top mold of the master whose internal you want to use. Next, use that top mold with the master to cast the bottom mold. At the same time, cast the top mold of a different master that you actually want to produce. Since the two different bottom and top molds will work together seamlessly, you can legitimately get both sides of a production ready mold in one pour of silicone. That original top mold that you made can be reused in this process as many times as you want. And don't forget, L2Ks let you do the same thing with bigger keys too. I started the L2K project because I wanted to make it easier for other artisans to achieve high quality results without having to go buy an expensive mold system. I make about a dollar on each L2K sold because I don't believe in making my fellow artisans pay me some high premium when I've already done most of the design work. My goal for this project is to enable community members of all skill levels to tangibly elevate the quality of their casting. A final note about L2Ks, it's totally cool to save yourself some money and only buy one of each size you're interested in. It's pretty easy to duplicate your L2Ks using two-part silicone molds, and I fully encourage you doing so if you're not in a hurry. There are plenty of fantastic reasons to invest in a more expensive mold system, but they're not actually the ones most people think, and unfortunately price is really not a good indicator of a system's quality. Before you go spend hundreds of dollars on a seemingly fancy mold system, I encourage you to understand the trade-offs that you're making and whether or not they're actually what you want. Feel free to contact me about what functionality you might be looking for, and I'd be more than happy to run you through the options. That concludes my overview of L2K adapters. If you think it's something that could improve your casting process, I've made them all available through Shapeways, so check the description for product links. If you're not convinced yet, consider trying it anyways. It's an $8 tool, and I honestly believe you'll find it's worth every penny. Stay tuned for more content about L2Ks in the future, but for now, it's time to cast.